That's another example of uh, how we can use the theory of birth death processes to understand cues. Let's consider a cue where we have a limited buffer size. So we have a, a, a cue like this, and it has only k minus 1 slots available. And, uh, and there's a service. So the total number of customers can be k, where 1 is in service, and then the remainder of k minus 1 are uh, waiting for service. And the, so the total number of customers is bonded by k. And so we call this a m slash m slash 1 slash k system, where k is the maximum number of customers. That is 1 in service and k and 1, k minus 1 waiting for service. So again, we start with drawing the state transition diagram. So we have a set of states like this. And now we have a bounded number of customers. So the number of the states will be 0, 1, 2, et cetera, until k. And we have the normal arrival and departure processes, so uh, uh, departure rates, so you have lambda, and then mu as the service rate. This is, uh, again, state independent. And then we have arrival into lambda of rate of k, but we have no uh, the the part the service rate is mu, but we have no arrivals beyond at this state. So at this state, we don't have an exit arc going in that direction. We only have an exit going in this direction. So the state transition rates, to be more precise, are lambda j is equal to lambda if j is less than k or 0 for j greater than or equal to k. And mu j equals mu for uh, j is in the 1 to k. Okay. So uh, we know the general uh, uh, e uh, equation for, uh, for the mm1 cube. We already saw that. So there we saw that pi j star is given by pi zero star uh, rho to the j. And that's going to continue to be the case for j less than or equal to k, because essentially while the q is uh, less than k, while the q is smaller than k, we really don't know that the q is uh, are not unbounded. We don't know about it's bounded, so it'll be exactly the same as before. And then after that is going to be 0 for j greater than k. So in some sense, the probabilities of being in the various states is not affected by the, by the limited uh, buffer size because that only comes into effect at the time of arrival of the packet when the buffer is full. Uh, but this uh, is affecting pi 0 star because we need sigma pi i star to be 1, so pi 0 star is going to change a little bit, and that's going to affect this in this way. So pi 0 star is going to be given by 1 over 1 plus, and now here we bounded sum, j equals 1 to k rho to the j. And uh, using a standard result for sums, uh, for finite sums, this becomes nothing more than 1 minus rho over 1 minus rho to the power k plus 1. And so uh, pi j star, plugging this into the previous equation, is therefore going to be given by 1 minus rho over uh, 1 minus rho to the k plus 1 times rho to the j uh, for j less than or equal to k and 0 for j greater than uh, okay, and so this set of equations gives us the probability of being in each state of the chain, and from this we can derive all of the quantities that we want to uh, 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 that we care about. In particular, we want to know the arrivals when in state k. Arrivals when in state. Uh, k, and this means this arrivals when the when the when it's completely full, and this has been this is given as pi k star, and of course pi k star can be derived directly from here, and so if we want to know what should be the value of k such that the probability of uh, blocking is below a certain value, we can plug that into this equation over here, and uh, we can size the system. We can choose the k such that 
this blocking probability is below desired value. And that is how we can use skewing theory to size the system. It's also worth noting that in a system with uh, bounded uh, buffers such as this, the system is always stable uh, no matter uh, what the arrival rate is because excess arrivals are always dropped. So the crew cannot grow beyond bound, which is the meaning of instability uh, by definition because of this, pro uh, because of this property. <laughs>